Today, we're at Studio Lab in Derry, New Hampshire, a world-class production facility with a massive video LED wall and a quarter million dollar cinematic robot. We're gonna be taking some product shots and taking a look at how this robot works. This is a precision camera robot capable of moving up to 19 feet per second and the only way to get insane shots that look like these. This exact camera robot is from Motorized Precision, and they have a range of robots of different sizes. From the largest, Colossus, that can travel a 10-foot range in half a second, to the Mia, a smaller version that still has a 4-foot range at 10 feet per second. These robots were actually pulled from the same tech in the manufacturing and automotive industry, except they're also tied to software that controls all of the gimbals, follow focus, and aperture adjustment motors to achieve ridiculous camera moves that no human could actually achieve. The functionality is actually pretty simple. The robot arm travels from point A to point B at exact coordinates and speed, and the operator can program whatever camera moves they want during that move. So one of the things they do um, is allow you to use a Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller to actually control the robot. So every button on here, every joystick is an axis of the robot. So if I move my joystick here left to right, I can do my slide movement. If I go forward and back on the joystick, you know, I can push in, push out. And then on the other joystick, pan side to side, tilt up and down. I got my boom, so going up, down, as well as my roll, so I can control all of my movements as well as set keyframes right from the Xbox controller with the robot head. So it just makes it a super simple process to you know, frame up my first shot. I can use multiple, multiple angles at the same time. So that's my first shot. I'll set a keyframe, go up a couple seconds, move over to my second spot, set another keyframe, and then I can run that move back and forth. And it'll be super smooth, precise, and very repeatable. Now, these robots are nothing new, and they've been in the film industry for a while now. But what's interesting about this studio is that it also houses an XR virtual production LED wall. So you just chatted with Greg, and Greg's running the robot here. Um, but this is really all the brains of what's being rendered real time. So real quickly, this is our Unreal scene. As you can see here, everything, you can move it around, you can change um, the lighting, pretty much anything you want to do happens in the Unreal Engine. Now, to get this over onto the video wall, we need to insert a camera here. If we take this render and we bring it into disguise over here, you'll see this is a 3D representation of our room. And if Greg uh, programs a move and moves the camera, you'll see the background update real time. So as you're seeing, wherever the camera is located, we're, we're casting that perspective into this digital world here. So everything looks correct per that camera view. If you're not in this exact position looking through this camera, it all looks wrong. It looks skewed almost, just like if we were over here. All right, if you're interested in learning more about how Unreal is being used in virtual production and this LED tech, be sure to check out our podcast with Ian, as well as the review of the Emerge Wave 1 that we produced with all this tech.